Molarity is the most common way of expressing concentrations of solutions. This is used in biology and chemistry and even in the medical professions. However, in the medical profession, they usually call it osmolarity, but it is essentially the same thing. In reading texts where they start talking about osmolarity, is sometimes because the word is not very familiar to you, uh, it is a lot easier to understand what's being said if, as you read, you mentally replace the word osmolarity or molarity with the word concentration, and the meaning of the text may become more obvious as you read. Molarity has some synonyms. Molar solution and mole per liter all mean molarity. The formula for molarity is the number of moles of solute over the liters of solution. Notice again, this takes the format amount of solute over amount of solution, not solvent. The symbol for molarity is a capital M. Because the units for molarity are moles per liter, anywhere you see the word molarity or molar solution, you can replace the capital M or molarity or molar solution with the units mole per liter. And you're going to see that we can uh, use that effectively when doing problems so as to make the problem simpler. In using molarity as concentration, what we're going to find is there are only two types of problems. Either you're going to be calculating your molarity, or you're going to be taking the molarity that's given to you and using it to determine the outcome of the problem. This is just like what we had with percent solution. In percent solution, either the percent solution was given to you and you changed it into a conversion factor, or the problem asks you for the concentration and you use the formula of percent solution to calculate the percent solution. Same thing here. To calculate molarity, if the problem asks you for the concentration, just plug your values in the formula. If the problem gives you the molarity, you're going to write that down as a conversion factor. Be remember that capital M is equal to mole per liter. So all I have to do is take that value in front of the capital M and put that at in front of mole and then put liter of solution as the denominator to that fraction. Let's look at an example. In this problem, it's giving you the concentration of the solution and it's giving you 320 2 grams of the solute. So 322 grams of the solute is the given where you start your math. And I can take the point 123 molar and change it into a conversion factor. Point 123 molar is expressed as point 123 moles over 1 liter. So now never start your problem with your concentration of solution. You never start your math with a conversion factor. You always want to start with a given measurement. So you, we see that 322 is our given measurement. How can I go from gram to volume? Well, I go from gram to mole and then mole to liter. You can't ever forget anything that you've learned earlier in chemistry. And going from gram to mole is considered to be a standard conversion that you always remember you can do once you learn it.
So we start with 322 grams of potassium uh, permanganate, and using the formula, we can figure out that there's 158 grams in one mole. So I can convert that to moles, and now I can use the concentration of the solution as a conversion factor to go from mole to liter. And that gives us 16.6 .6 liters. Go ahead and look at this problem and try to do uh, th this. Now it says, what is the molarity? So remember, any time a concentration is asked for, what do you do? You use the formula. If you look at this problem, it gives you 6.73 grams. That is your solute. It also gives you 250 milliliters. That is your amount of solution. So now you're going to use the formula solution concentration is equal to mole of solute over liter of solution because it's asking for molarity. So we go ahead and we realize that we're going to have to convert our grams. So I'm going to use the molar mass of sodium carbonate. Remember that the formula, formula for sodium carbonate, because sodium has a positive one charge and carbonate has a formula of CO3 2 minus, there would be two sodiums, one carbon, and three oxygens in sodium carbonate. That gives us a molar mass of 106. The total number of moles then in 6.73 grams of sodium carbonate is 0 0.0635 moles. 250 milliliters must be changed to the unit in, in the formula, so I have to convert this. So I'm going to take it from milliliters to liters, and that gives me 0 0.250 liters. I can now plug these values into my formula and I get 0 0.0635 moles over 0 0.250 liters. That gives me 0.254 moles per liter, or I can write that as 0.254 capital M for molar solution. Here's another problem for you to try. Go ahead and try the problem, and then continue the lecture when you're through. To do this problem, you notice that the molarity, the concentration, is given. So right off the bat, you can rewrite 0.125 molar as 0.125 mole nitric acid per liter of solution. Next, you notice that the given in the problem is 0.23 moles of nitric acid. That will be the beginning of your math. So we start out with 0.23 mole and we know we're going to have to go from mole to liter because it asks for what volume. So we write our conversion factor, making sure that we have mole canceling out, and we go to liters of solution. After completing our math, we come up with 1.8 liters of solution. And here's another problem for you to try. To do this problem, first you notice that the concentration is given to you. So you change that to a conversion factor. 0 0.010 molar is 0 0.010 mole over liter of solution. You start your math with the given, 250 milliliters of solution. Now you can see that we can go from solution to mole. But first, we have to change milliliter to liter. So we go uh, 1,000 milliliters to 1 liter, or you could have 10 to the minus 3 liters over milliliter. And then we go from liters of solution to mole using our conversion factor. But that doesn't answer the question, because the question says how many grams. You then have to remember there's another step needed which is to go from mole to gram. We use a molar mass of hydrochloric acid. 
which we use the periodic table, 35.45 for chlorine and 1 for hydrogen. That gives us 36.45 grams per mole. So we go from milliliter to liter and then liter to mole and then mole to gram. That answers our question and we get 0 0.091 grams.